Good morning, everyone. It's Brenda Quintana here, and it is about a week before Christmas. And uh, next week, I am heading up to see family up in Canada. And so next week will be a little bit different schedule for me. I will still be posting um, my regular uh, card on Tuesday. Uh, I won't be doing a live though. And uh, on Friday, since it is Christmas Eve next Friday, I'm gonna be taking next Friday off. And then I will be back on December 31st, which is kind of also uh, a holiday for a lot of people, but I will be um, having my live in the morning. So hopefully you can catch that. Um, so I will be back doing my Friday live in two weeks. Just wanted you to know that. And then I'll be posting two um, cards because we're gonna be traveling over those um, Tuesdays and I won't be here for those. So this morning I have, I actually have two cards for you this morning. We will be making a fancy fold card and this is an easy card to make. And it's also my thank you card that I made for my customers who ordered from me in November. I really like this card because it's adaptable to many different stamp sets. And I'm gonna show you that um, there. I'm gonna show you a sneak peek from the uh, upcoming Jan to June mini catalog. And I'll do that after I've done my uh, card with the Peaceful Deer Bundle. And um, if you're not familiar with the Peaceful Deer Bundle, it was on back order for a very long time. So if you didn't get it, um, in August, in during August, you were not able to get it for many, many months. And we finally got it back in stock a couple of weeks ago. And so I'm just pointing it out now because if you would like it, if you'd like to use it for next year, you know, get it now so that, that you have it. Um, it's a really cute um, bundle. And I also did a card with it on Tuesday because I wanted to showcase it. Because um, deer is just a nice animal to have. It's very Christmassy. Um, and the other thing that's really great about it is that it's a punch and punches are really fast to use. So um, no matter how you're decorating, it's nice to be able to get like uh, stamp and then punch and you're, you're set to go. So I'm going to show you another card with that uh, bundle today. So let me switch over my camera and let's talk about this card. All right, so you have two cards here for you. I am using this paper from the annual catalog. It is a Christmas six by six paper. So we know that we're gonna still be able to get it for a few months yet. And that's why I chose it because I knew that it was going to <laughs> be around in case you wanted to pick it up a little later. Um, this, the main colors in here, the reds, greens that are in here is cherry cobbler. And then we have evening evergreen and soft succulent. And I've, you'll see all my little cut up pieces. I've already gone through two packs of this and this is kind of my my uh, cut up um, pieces area, but I still have some full sheets available. This card looks nice made with a variety of patterns. I used, I designed it so that you could get three cards out of one sheet since this is six inches wide and this measures two inches. So you can get three um, pieces out of a six by six um, piece. And so here are the two different patterns. I like both of them, you know, the either pattern would work. So, and then when you open the card, it opens up like this and you see the other little deer on the inside. So it's a kind of um, pretty peaceful card. And look at these beautiful greetings sending love and peace this season and then on the inside wishing you a wonderful year and friendship steer so this is a really nice card especially to send to friends and it's nice because you might have friends that have come from different faiths so it's nice to have a card that is a little bit neutral in that regard it's still special um, but it's 
neutral. <laughs> and I know I have friends of all different faiths, so um, that's kind of important to me. All right. Let's have a look. This is the Peaceful Deer Bundle. And when you buy this, the stamp set and the punch together as a bundle, you save 10%. You can also buy them separately if you wish. But I think you will want to have both because um, you can stamp this deer and then you can punch it out so you have more detail um, when you use both of them together. All right. Let's scoot these over here and let's get started and we'll create, let's create the, the backdrop, the easy fancy fold. So you're just going to need kind of a standard piece, which is a half sheet of our eight and a half by 11. So this measures eight and a half inches by five and a half inches. And I love to use my scoring board, but if you want to use your trimmer, please go ahead. I am addicted to my scoring board because I also love to do 3D stuff. So I'm just so used to putting it out and I think it's kind of easier to see the scoring if, if you're doing it this way. So I'm going to score at the four and a quarter inch mark. This is the eight and a half inch side up at the top. I'm gonna score at the four and a quarter inch mark. And then I'm going to score at the two and one eighth inch mark. So basically I'm scoring um, in half and then I'm scoring this front piece in half as well. So two and one eighths and four and one quarter. That's the simplicity of this fancy fold. All right, then we're gonna take a bone folder and fold the card in half first. And this bone folder just helps me burnish the fold so it can lay flat. And then this front piece here needs to be folded over. So let's just put that down like that. And then we'll burnish it this way. Okay, so you can see it's like a normal card, but this front piece will be folded back. Okay, so we'll set that aside for a moment and let's do the stamping. So let's start with, we'll need two pieces, one for the inside and one for the, the front. And so let's start off with a front piece and this piece measures three and a quarter inches by four and a half inches. And that's the same for this piece over here as well. So we're going to create a backdrop for the deer. So I'm going to use two stamps and I'm going to use two colors. I'm going to use, whoop, not early espresso. I'm going to use soft succulent and evening evergreen. And I'll start off with my soft succulent. And um, I'm going to ink this up. And I want to create a scene. So I'm going to start kind of close to the side right here, probably about a quarter of an inch from the side and maybe about an inch from the top. It doesn't have to be precise. And I'm going to stamp my first stamp in soft succulent, ink it up again. And this time I'm going to leave a space of about um, just enough to put another tree in there, but not quite the whole width. Actually, the best way to describe this one, a quarter of an inch from the top and about halfway from side to side. Let's just stamp that right here. Okay. And then we're going to do one more. I want to kind of have like a random pattern so it doesn't look like that I'm doing uh, dark light, dark light, dark light. So then for this one, I'm going to overlap it a little bit with this one and it's going to be down a little bit. So they're going to overlap. So you can see how I did that little overlapping. Then I'm going to clean off my stamp on the side right here. I've got my chamois. It's kind of, um, 
it's kind of dirty. I'll lift it up so you can see it. This is just sitting in a little tray. Um, but if you don't already have a chamois, this is just a great way to clean your stamps because all you have to do is add water to this. It does get very stained, but the ink stays on here. Um, every once in a while, I'll let it soak just for a little while in some um, hot water, and that helps release some more of the ink, but it does look kind of gross. And uh, But the, the cool thing is that the all the ink stays on there, and it's just a nice way to clean your stamps. Okay. Then I'm using Evening Evergreen and I'm going to fill in a little bit. And so this one, I'm going to be a little bit lower than this, but centered in here. So maybe about right here. Okay. And then this one is going to be maybe just a little bit down from here, filling in like that. And then I wanted to add one more over here on this side, just to kind of anchor this corner right here, but not the same size tree. So I'm just gonna put one of the little trees right over here. And we've just basically created a little forest for my little deer to hop into. All right, so let's slide that over here. Okay, and then um, I want to also add a greeting. So we're going to stamp this uh, Sending a Love and Peace the Season. And I decided that it would look good if I punch this out. So I'm going to use Cherry Cobbler. And this is just a scrap piece. I'm going to ink this up and stamp that down. And then we're going to use the Label Me Fancy Punch. It's got this nice um, piece right here, and then it's got like a little circle and a slot as well. So it's a versatile punch. And so we'll just come in here and just align that. And the nice thing about doing the punt, the greeting in a, a punch is that once you've got this stamped, this is just going to be glued down here. So it's not like um, you can make a mistake with this one because you can punch it out and start again if you need to. All right, so now we need to do the deer. And I forgot to bring some crumb cake over here. Let me grab some. Sometimes I forget to bring scraps over when I'm punching. So let me just set that one aside and I'm going to stamp my deer in early espresso. Ink it up and then we'll just stamp this right down here. And then we'll use our punch and I don't know if you remember me saying this punch is better used on a solid surface. It's hard to punch this one in the air. So open it up and place it on a stable surface. Get your piece. And then you're just going to or lever this down a little bit to clamp it and hold it in place while you kind of maneuver it. And when you like how it looks, then you can punch all the way through. In particular, I really want my head to look good. So I'm really paying the most attention to the head and then punch it through. And easy peasy to cut out. All right. So let's just lay these over here. So we're creating that front scene. And then let's do the inside scene. And I'll stamp this deer that's standing up. And I'll just add it right here. If you wanted to, if you didn't want a color, you could do another leaping deer if you wanted to. But I liked having the ability to use both. And for my thank you cards, I didn't color the inside deer because that would have taken a long time. 
and Christmas was coming up. It is coming up very quickly now. And then I'll just take the other greeting and just add it right here. Also in cherry cobbler. And then take my crumb cake dark and I'll just use it. Oh, actually, I think I used the light. All right, well, I'm using the dark um, for this one. <laughs> For my original one, it looks like I used the light because it was a little lighter, but oh well. It will match my outer deer a little better. We can put them side by side and see if you like the light crumb cake versus the dark crumb cake better. That's always a good thing. You have options. And I'm just going to color quickly and come up here and do the legs. And when you buy the blends, they come in a pair with a light and dark. So you don't have to make a decision when you're buying because you'll get one of each. And sometimes I like to color in with my light and then come back and do the shading with my dark. But since I misjudged what I had originally used, I'm just going to come over here and just shade a little bit with my dark. Along the edges. Along the bottom of the deer. Under the deer head. All right, and it kind of blends in after a while. Okay. All right, there is my deer, and we're just gonna let that sit and dry and see if I like the look of that at the end. Okay, so now let's layer these up and glue everything down. So let's first take this get the greeting glue down first and I'm doing about a quarter of an inch from the bottom and a quarter of an inch from the side and if you want to you can go ahead and put some dimensionals under your deer I have to mail a lot of my cards so sometimes I just prefer my cards to be a little flatter so I am not going to put dimensionals under here, but you definitely can. And there is some dimension anyway because it is a punched out piece. So, okay, so now we need to layer these up onto pieces of cardstock. So for the front, I'm using a piece of Evening Evergreen, and this piece measures four and a half by four and three quarters. So I'm just going to use a light bit of Tombow on here. This is the light, or not the light, it's the regular basic white cardstock, not the thick, because this is a layering piece, so it's not a card base. So I'm using the regular, and it is a very nice smooth surface to stamp on. It's a little, has a little bit more of a finer finish than our thick. Okay, and then for this one, I'm going to put it on just a slightly smaller piece than this one because it makes it easier to align the top and the bottom. So this one measures four and three eighths. Not, yeah, wait a minute. Three and five eighths, sorry, by four and five eighths. Three, no, wait, wrong. Let's start again. This one is three and three eighths by four and five eighths. I hope that's um, right. It will be right on the project sheet. This is three and a quarter, so this is three and a, three and three eighths. This is four and a half, so this is four and five eighths. Yes, that's correct. Sorry, sometimes when I'm talking out loud, your brain thinks you're saying one thing, but you're saying something completely different. And then this one, you'll see there's just a smaller edge on the outside. Okay, 
So bring back in the card base. Before we do anything, let's add the piece of Tidings of Christmas paper so we don't forget to add that. This is two inches by five and a half inches. Just put some Tombow on there and I find I have better success. Since this is two and one eighths, I'm going to center it on here. So there'll be a tiny little bit of crumb cake peeking out right here. So it's easier to put it on facing you like this on the lengthwise because you can just see there's just the tiniest bit of crumb cake cardstock sticking out and then on this side as well. All right, so then we're going to add the inside piece first and you'll just take it, put Tombow on here and center it as best you can right on top of here. And when that looks good, press down. And then for this piece, we're just adhering it on half. Okay, so figure it out how it's going to go. And then you're just going to remember you just need to put it on this half right here. So flip this over. It's going to be this half and put Tombow, I'm just going a little bit under the halfway inch mark, okay? And then standing up is the best way to do this and then just kind of come down and you're gonna center this top, bottom, side and just make sure that you can't see any of the inside of your card when you press down. So that looks pretty good. And then press down on here. And there is the card. Isn't it cute? Um, I will show you my sneak peek card in just a second, but I just, here is the difference between the lighter deer and the darker deer. I think probably what I should do with this one is add a little highlight. I find this one a little light and this one a little dark. So you can kind of maybe balance out the two by using the two in combination or maybe going over the light and making a little um, bit darker. So either one I think will look cute though. And uh, yeah, so there is the card. That's the Peaceful Deer card. And then let's take a sneak peek of my other card. And this is from the upcoming bundle called Hello Ladybug. This will be in the Jan to June mini catalog and it will be available starting on January 3rd. That's a Tuesday, so right after New Year's, that first Tuesday of the month, um, this will be available. And I do feel, since this is another punch set, this is going to be, um, I think this is also going to be one of these that are going to um, be on um, not orderable really quickly because they never seem to get enough punches even though they order more each time they just never seem to get enough so um, if you like this order it early on in January because this is so cute everyone loves ladybugs so look at this tiny little ladybug it makes it is adorable isn't it I'm going to show you how I made this ladybug um, with the little cute little eyes in just a second I'm not going to stamp this full card but I'll tell you how I made it um, and then so the same fancy fold and look at there's the little um, stamped ladybug on the inside and so it's hello you can bug me anytime so it's kind of like a thinking of you card um, perfect for uh, lots of different occasions but just really cute and I think ladybugs make people smile it's one of the few bugs that I will actually let crawl on my hand how about you do you let ladybugs like if there's a ladybug and it's in the house um, if I can I will like let it crawl on my hand and run outside and let it go I don't know I'm weird about so many bugs but ladybugs somehow I don't know because they're red and they've got little black dots and then they're so cute Anyway, certain times of year, they seem to come into my room, so I'm constantly bringing them out. And this one bug I am not squeamish over. 
<laughs> All right, let me show you um, how I made this little one. Um, also, I used, um, for these leaves right here, I used pear pizzazz, and one is stamped full strength and one is stamped off. So basically, I just stamped this leaf and then I stamped it again up there. So easy peasy, and the leaf comes with um, the stamp set. Okay. So let me show you how I made the ladybug just so you can see. Um, we just need a couple of things. So I've got my punch here. So first let's punch out the body of the bug and we're going to use um, some basic black. Okay, I did a really bad job. I cut off his little body. So let's do him again. Okay, there we go. He kind of has a flat bottom. That's not good. All right, so now we have one that is appropriate. And then we're going to take a piece of this. I use Poppy Parade. And we'll just punch out some wings. And then we're going to use some Memento. And this is the little polka dots that go on the ladybug. So you don't have to worry about um, figuring out where the dots go and everything, all you have to do is just line it up. And since it's photopolymer, you can see where everything's going and then come off like that. So easy, right? So, so easy. And then you can just take this and I'm just going to put Tombow right up at the top, not on the wings because the wings are kind of hanging off. So then you just add this on here and it already looks cute right it's already oops it's not ready to be picked up yet okay hold on a second don't pick it up when it's wet let me pick it up by its antenna so it has a chance to dry okay so it already looks cute but you can add little eyes and what I did was I took some pearl jewels and my oh I dropped this marker the other day and now it's, I think I, I caused it not to be, let me wiggle it a bit. I think I need a plier. Okay. Good job. So this, if this ever happens to you, see, yeah, um, just I, I flung it on the floor and it hit quite hard so the inks inside there so you just if you have trouble getting it out of the lid you just take a plier and pull it out this has only happened twice in the entire time I've had all of these stampin blends but sometimes when you like loosen the pl plastic by like knocking it really hard on the floor yeah it will cause this joint to be a little looser than it needs to be but I fixed it and now let me show you what to do. So I'm going to take two of my smaller pearl jewels and I'm just going to take the top of the pearl jewel and I'm going to do a little dot on the top. And since these are um, alcohol markers, they are going to stay on there. It's going to solidify in a moment and then we'll take I'm going to take which end I'll take this end maybe I don't want to touch the top yet so I'm take this and move it on here and take the other one and move it on here And there you have a little ladybug with cute little eyes. So cute, right? Just adorable. And then you can add that ladybug onto your, your project and it's good to go. So sweet. I, I like it a little bit better with eyes because especially since this little one on the inside that I stamped also has a face, so I kind of want to match them up a little bit in terms of the, the cuteness um, factor. You could also um, take white cardstock 
and stamp this body in black and then stamp this wing piece in red and then you can punch them out as well but I like the boldness of the cardstock a little better I haven't tried it yet but I, I just know I'll like the boldness of having that cardstock so I, I don't even bother with that. I just stamp the dots right onto the real red cardstock and create the little book. It's so cute. I know you're gonna love this one as well. So that's my little sneak peek coming up. And it just shows you like the versatility of this fold because you can create um, different cards with it. It's really easy. Um, and you can be a little bit more creative than me. You can add some ribbon on here and you can add jewels on here if you want and, and jazz it up a little bit. Like if you wanted to, you could put like some ribbon coming across here. So you can make it a little bit, you can make a fancier fancy fold card. But I think they're just the base, the basic bones of this card is just great. And I will have a project sheet for you and I will have both of those cards on the project sheet and that will be sent to you tomorrow. All right, I hope you like those cards and I hope you like seeing a card with our upcoming ladybug bundle. It's called uh, Hello Ladybug. Okay. All right, I am going to go through and read some comments. Um, if you are enjoying this uh, channel, make sure you're a subscriber so that you know when I'm going live. Um, just look um, down below. Um, you'll probably see a little uh, picture of me in a pink shirt. Um, and if you just click on that, that will um, take you to my subscribe link and you can subscribe if you're not already subscribed. All the supplies I talked about today are on my blog, so you can click over there and check it out if you want to purchase the Peaceful Deer Bundle. I do not have the uh, Ladybug supplies on there yet because it's, if this is, um, if you're still watching this in December, um, the January catalog is not live yet, so there's no point in me putting that up um, because it will go nowhere. So um, wait for those supplies um, for January. Um, and then if you um, make a purchase with me, uh, if you spend at least $15 with me, you're going to get a free tutorial. And if you spend at least $50 with me using my host code, which is right there um, on my screen, this is my December um, host code. If you um, purchase that, you're going to be getting um, the gingham embossing folder. And I have some samples here. My embossing folder is across the room. But here are some things that I made with it. This is, um, this one is just plain embossed without doing any inking. And this one is um, with uh, inking the embossing folder before running it through. So it's a nice new folder and it's perfect for spring. Gingham is always fun for spring. I think of picnics, um, I think of baby blankets. So I just, I think of pastel colors. So um, it's a great embossing folder. And um, if you spend 50 with me in December, I will be sending that out to you in January. Okay, I think I've done all my talk chit chatting. So let me talk with you guys. Good morning, Pat. I'm so glad that you caught me live for a change. Good morning, Birgit from Germany. Good morning, Dawn from Whidbey Island in Washington, close to my home province of British Columbia. Good morning, Kristen. Good morning, Janine. Good morning, Dawn. Thank you. I'm glad you think my card's adorable. Oh, the ladybug, Janine says. Yes, it's so cute. The upcoming ladybugs. Yeah, Kristen, ladybugs are adorable. They just are cute. And it is a sign of good luck. And um, my parents uh, were German, so we, um, uh, that was, we, I had a, a cute, I probably still have it. I have a cute little small bracelet. I wonder if it still fits me with a little tiny ladybug on it um, that I had. I'm sure I still have it. Um, uh, that I had as a little girl and it, it was just 
I, I knew I've known ladybugs are a sign of good luck um, for a very long time. At least they're good luck for a lot of your plants because they eat some of the pests on our, our plants. So maybe they really are good luck for our gardens. Um, Janine says, my youngest daughter loved ladybugs. I can close my eyes and see her little fat finger with a ladybug on the tip. She would get so excited and squeal, look, mommy, look. I know, I have kind of feel the same way. I, I, there's, there's a joy that certain things bring you and ladybugs is one of them. <laughs> um, Yes, uh, so those ladybug eyes are really easy to make. If you have a um, black alcohol marker, you can marker up your um, little ladybug, little pearls really quickly. Um, hi, Karen, good morning. Karen says she loves this full, love the choices of God's creatures you use. Aw, thank you, and th Merry Christmas to you too. Um, Pat asks, is the ladybug set a bundle? Yes, it is. So um, both of these, you can buy them separately, but you know, you wanna get the bundle and you can save 10%. It will be called the Hello Ladybug Bundle. So there will be the punch and the stamp set, but the, the bundle itself will be called Hello Ladybug. Um, all right. Um, Ah, uh, Brigitte says she loves the ladybug card. <laughs> the eyes are just the perfect touch. Yeah, I think it makes a, the the little guy look alive a little bit more. Or the little girl, since it is a, called a ladybug. <laughs> so Deborah says, thank you for the sneak peek. Have a very Merry Christmas. Thank you, Deborah. Um, uh, Pat says, I do like the different colors of your deer as well. Well, thank you. Um, and thanks so much uh, for everyone here today. Um, I wanna wish you personally a Merry Christmas because this is the last time I'll be going live before Christmas. So I, ho I hope you have a wonderful holiday. I hope you're able to spend it with some family and I really truly hope you're able to do it safely and um, I hope just wishing you a happy, um, healthy new year as well. All right, guys, um, take care of yourselves and um, I will be back in two weeks um, and I can't wait to see you then and find out how your holidays went. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Take care.